Hey guys, James Brandon here. Um, I have this image from Italy and I want to use it to demonstrate what you can do with the probably the most fun program that On One Software makes. It's called Focal Point. And you can use it to simulate um, tilt shift effects in your image. You can simulate it um, depth of field with your images. You can increase depth of field with your images. You can really just do so much with this program and it's just so fun to use. Um, I always am trying to find ways to use it because I like it so much. So um, what the uh, program focal point kind of revolves around is this focus bug right here. And I can move this focus bug anywhere in the image and the middle of that bug will be the focal point of the image and it will kind of gradually feather out to a blur from there. So I can use this to draw the viewer's eye into a scene, however I want to do it. And when you open the program up for the first time, or anytime you reset everything inside the program, you'll get this um, circular or round um, focus bug. And if you wanted to you know, use that, that'll kind of emulate sort of a lens baby effect. But if you want to use something like a tilt shift effect, you can come over here to the shape and I can choose uh, planar. And that will change the focus bug to a square. And now you can see that it works and looks completely different. So what I wanna do in this image is emulate some sort of tilt shift effect where the blur of the image starts out on the left side and it gradually gets more and more in focus until we reach the boats on the right side. But as you can see from, uh, from the stock settings, it looks quite overdone. The blur is way too strong on the left side, so we want to bring that back. So there's a few ways you can do that. Um, you can also affect things like vignette here. So I can bring this up or down. I can just drag this around to change the vignette in the image. And if I want to change the blur amount, I can use this bug over here to change the blur. And then I can also grab these arms right here to change the shape of the uh, focal plane. But what I usually like to do is I, I just come over here to the right side and affect uh, or change everything just by using these sliders. So I know that as far as blur goes, I want the blur to be fairly subtle. So I'm gonna go from 33% here. And I'm gonna probably pull it down to around 10 and see what that looks like. And to be quite honest, 10 is still a little strong. So I'm gonna bring it back to five and I'll probably leave it right there. As far as the feathering goes, you can bring it all the way up to 100 if you wanna do that, and that'll create the most extreme feather that you could possibly come up with to where there's really no um, you know, part of the image that's in focus. If you wanna see what this looks like, you can always come down to the, um, to the focus brush here, and I can hit show mask. So you can see here that the white is blur and the black is focus, but you don't see anything that's pure black. And anything that was pure black would be completely in focus. So I'll have my mask and I'm gonna bring this feather back. I'm gonna keep bringing it back until I can see that those boats are gonna be nice and sharp. So now I can come back down here and show my mask again. And you can see the difference that that made. So it's going from white and it makes a fairly quick jump over to black. With the mask still selected, I can adjust the slider even more, just like that, and get it to where I want. And it looks like I still have uh, the boats in focus, and that's good. Um, the only part that I need to change now is where it's coming over to a blur on the right side. I want it to start out blurry on the left side and everything on the right side needs to be in focus. That's what I want for this image. So what I'm gonna do now is come down to my brushes. I'm gonna grab the brush from down here at the bottom and I'm gonna make sure that paint focus is selected on the brush menu. I'm gonna show my mask again and I'm gonna just start painting this white away with my brush. And I am using a Wacom uh, pen tablet. If you're doing like really fine brush techniques, you can use these options here for, um, you know, Wacom controls brush size and opacity 
for this instance, I don't really need it because I just want to paint out 100%. I'm not concerned about opacity or pin pressure or anything like that. So I'm going to hide the mask again. And as you can see now, we have the entire image in focus from about this point over in the frame. And that's basically how focus or focal point works. It's a, it's a lot of fun. There's so many uses for it. Um, Again, I'm always trying to find uses for it just because it's a fun program to get in and mess around with. It never gets old and you can spend so much time in here just having fun. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. hope you uh, can have learned a few things from this lesson and I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching.